Again, I want to thank you for emailing in your car crazy stories to us here at Car Crazy Central. It is so much fun reading them. And of course, now that they're on our website, everybody, car guys all over the world can read your stories. And then we pick select ones to read here on the show. And I have an interesting one here today from Robert Lamore. He writes, to start with, you have a great show. You really enjoy what you do, and it shows. Well, I hope so. I became car crazy. Listen to this. I became car crazy early when my dad helped me to learn to read by buying me car magazines at five or six years old. At 14 years old, I was car crazy over the Lotus Elan. That is all I would talk about with my dad. Two years later, my dad co-signed on a loan for me. I bought the car of my dreams. I took the car to UCLA with me. When I needed time away from school, I got on my Lotus and cruised Sunset Boulevard. On one of the evenings, I came across this brown and tan Mini Cooper. This guy was driving like he was possessed. My plan was to pass him on this long, sweeping right-hand turn on the outside. Well, I got the surprise of my life. He apparently took his foot off the gas. Here I was going faster than the Mini in a long right sweeper and no place to move. I started to lightly apply the brakes, which caused the rear end to come around into a four-wheel drift. After I had survived this and finally pulled alongside the brown Mini at the next light and had a chance to see the guy who taught me not to anticipate too much, he slowly turned and revealed a big smile. It was Steve McQueen. <laughs> How many people ever got the chance to get a lesson from Steve McQueen and race him on a one-on-one -on -one basis? I still have this car. It's been too much a part of my life to let it go. Recently, a friend and I went to the Peterson Museum to see Steve McQueen's cars on display. There it was, the same brown and tan mini of Steve McQueen, still in the same paint of the early 70s. I had to put my hand on it. As a side note, my Lotus has the same paint on it, too, when I ran up against McQueen all those years ago. It was a moment just to step back in time. Being car crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. That's a wonderful story. You know what? That's what this show is all about. The dreams, the emotions, the stories that bring us in contact with our cars and make us car crazy. The success of the show is really based on a real simple fact. Car guys love to listen to other car guys tell their car guys stories. And you know, for me, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a gal. If you love cars, you are a car guy. And now you can share your own car guy stories and confessions to car guys all over the world. Just go to our website, carcrazycenter.com, and all of us can read these letters. And then we pick the best of the best and read them here for our television audience. And again, you know why we're doing this. We're trying so hard to make you just a little bit more car crazy.